basically, these are this is Firebirds. This Gibson Firebird. If Gibson. you own one, you look badass. Yes. That's pretty much all you need to know. I've been the captain. I've been Chappers. <laughs> <laughs> Better do a proper review Wait, now. Get you, Better got do a proper review. Yeah. Anderton's. And we're doing this review standing up because there are some guitars that you have to tell people what all the knobs do and what the pickups do and what does it sound like with this and that. And there are other guitars where you just go, I'm so cool, it's unbelievable, you've got to buy them right now, immediately. Yeah, we know, and you, you speak to your dad and say, Dad, can I please get a Firebird because I did my homework really, really good and I deserve one. Like, let's do another badass riff! One, two, three, four! <laughs> So this is Gibson, you know, my favorite guitar manufacturer in the world other than Fender, who I love also equally. Um, and they do a crazy guitar, and 2013 is its 50th birthday. So if you were also born in 1963, happy birthday. You're the same age as a Firebird. Yeah. Um, they've happy celebrated Happy Firebird it. to you. Happy Firebird to you. Happy Firebird to you. Random name insert here. Happy, happy Firebird to you. Anyway, um, if it's your birthday, that was for you. How fast could you play that? Could you go? Chappers has a reverse headstock uh, Firebird, it's called a 2010 V, uh, or 2010 5, depending on whether you want to use a Roman numeral or a normal number. Um, and basically, you can get this in black or sunburst, and it looks badass and cool. <coughs> Whereas I have a 19, uh, sorry, 2013 50th anniversary Bullion Gold Firebird, which is basically the same guitar, just in this badass, ridiculous gold finish. That's redonkulous, man. It's redonkulous. So, what's cool about the um, the 2010 Firebird has these amazing, and the reason we're standing up is because it's kind of, it's the only way to really play a Firebird is standing up. Um, yeah, it has these crazy kind of uh, gear ratio tuners on them. Uh, Which at first view, I didn't like, and now I love. Oh, I love. I love it's them. like, 
It's. I mean, you have to wind it probably you know about it three times as far to it's do the a same. Smooth operator. Yeah, they're now, nice and smooth. That really good ratio. Great ratio. Now it has that kind of vibe that you get a little bit on SG, but it kind of takes it to an, an extra dimension on the Firebird. The neck is like all the way over here, whereas on a Les Paul or a Strat, it's kind of more over here. So gives you the tendency to play a little bit higher up the neck, Arj. Yeah. And, and the kind of crazy thing is, my strap is on its lowest possible setting, yes. and yet I still feel that. I could go a bit lower if I wanted to, which yeah. I don't normally get with because guitars. Because if you go like, super low, the neck is still quite it's up still here. kind of up here. Ergonomically, you'd want to if you hold your arms like this, you'd want the guitar to fall mm -hmm. into your hand in a in a pleasant fashion, like like this. And, and Stick said to me, he said it looks like it's going to be really headstock heavy, which it does. But look, with the pat with like no wires or anything, this is how it hangs. So it's like perfect. It just hangs exactly how I want to That's play. That's how it. captains hangs. <laughs> I think I only said that because they've got a history of being headstock heavy. That have they? Possibly. Not anymore. Not anymore. Gibson, we've rewritten of, history. We have. Um, well done, us. <laughs> Off the t is, I just want to. Oh no, it's still oh, no, it's no, no, of the black the, background. That's what it is. Yeah, I can go all the way to there. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have now. This is this is a little unusual. You don't see this in too many guitars. We have a mini humbucker. Uh, I'm playing through a Fender amplifier, and my mini humbuckers sound like this with a clean sound. That's the neck one, the middle one, or the both of them, and the bridge. So really clean. If you want it, let me hear you say it. Give me some more. That's the neckage. That makes you want to. Does doesn't it? Makes Every, you want to do that. Everything's exaggerated on a fire. Here's bed, the middle. I really like that. Here's the bridge. Take it to the bridge! I tell you, if you could have seen my feet then, I was giving it, I was like a sex machine. I was on fire. <laughs> Wait, I've got an orange rock about 50. Uh, one of the best amps ever made by Orange. And it sounds like this. <laughs> And, and you know what? I'm loving, Rob said to me yesterday, I think it was, or no, we were talking to a manufacturer, weren't we? And we basically realised that kind of, if you have a, a, an amplifier that doesn't have a lot of drive, it's quite good to have a guitar with super high output pokey pickups yeah, yeah, to yeah. give it the bang. It's got to be a balance, man. If you've, got a guitar, if you've got an amp with lots of drive like Rob has, actually it's quite good to have a guitar with some slightly more laid yeah. back kind of pickups in it. Because I think these sound amazing. And sometimes when you put super pokey pickup into a super pokey amplifier, they kind of get a bit pokey pokey. And, and it's just, you know. Pickle pig <laughs> pokey. It's not the greatest sound I've ever heard. But you know, I suppose each to his own. Um, <laughs> But Rob and I rocked out and we kind of did a little medley of mega riffs, didn't we? Here's one of the riffs. You know what else is good though? What else is Here's good? Here's one of the other riffs. Thank you. 
Tell you what, though, you know what's really good, don't you? What's really good? Here's one of the other riffs. tell you a little bit more about this guitar it's made of mahogany and you can kind of see it's got and we'll do some sweep overs uh it's got this kind of raised bit in the middle with where the middle bit's a bit chunkier than the wings i, I got that, that too super but cool i'm a bit chunkier <laughs> in the middle than i am on the wings you got the awesome awesome firebird motif on this one um same on this one uh just two volumes but if two you put tones. it upside down it looks like a horny monster like there's his mouth oh, yeah. and there's his horns with a beak yeah, the hooded a, beak yeah the hooded beak um dun, 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 dun. are they not through necks with bolt on wings it is a through neck with bolt on wings. They're not bolt on wings. Glue on wings. Glue on wings. You know what I mean? It's through neck. Yeah, yeah, technically, this is the neck. Technically, this is the neck. I love the strings. Did a drummer just tell us something about guitars? He did. Fair play. I take it all back. Well, most of it, anyway. Um, <laughs> what else? Standard, you know, stop tail piece like you'd get on a Les Paul. What else? I just, to be honest with you, the 60s must have been such an uber cool time to be in guitar sort of design because think of all the you had the jaguar the jazz master the firebird the explorer v uh the v you know or in fact did the v come even a bit before i'm not sure i just want to say v v v v v um and yet and you think when we go past all those amazing designs and obviously the 50s where we had the strat and the les portelli yeah really What's the best thing we've invented after that? ML1, ML2, Apart ML3. Apart from the ML1, ML2, and ML3, and the ML7. <laughs> I can't think of anything else cool. Seriously though, can you, in the comments section PRS. below. Maybe. So, I I remember, oh. oh, oh, the monitor. We're rock and roll now, baby. That should have been beer, though. Our man behind the camera, Mr. Stick, uh, he said uh, he's just confirmed that the Firebird was designed by a guy called Ray Dietrich, and he said he took an Explorer and rounded off the edges, and he was also a, a car designer, and so it does have its kind of, um, does have its what's its roots, heritage. So, heritage. First, first grip on this golden goddess. And the neck is a little bit more De La Chunk, only a touch though. Probably because of the, the lacquer and the finish, the gold on the neck. Gold neck! Gold! Only believe in your soul. <laughs> you got the power to know you're indestructible. No one's believing you are gold. gold. Do the bongo solo. That was solo. really actually very boom, good. Boom, 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 bo
money. Generate cash to check. What do you, are you saying? How much are they? I already told you. If you weren't asleep halfway through this video, you'd yeah. know. Yeah, drama. We did that about 10 minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, we did that about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> did you? I don't remember doing it. I said that was 1500 Oh, we did, he did. Yeah, he said that they were cheaper than a Les Paul. And more expensive than an SG. We'll see you same place, take your time. On diners, drive in some dives. Ow, ow.